Hey everyone, today we're going to tour this big split level home that we're about to flip. The previous owner really left me some interesting stuff that you're not going to want to miss. If you're interested in the house flip numbers, make sure you stay until the very end. The curb appeal of this home isn't really that bad. We have a big lawn that's green and lush that we're most likely going to be able to keep. And the front area, there's the big tree that's blocking a lot of the home that we plan to remove. And also this raised planter box is not very appealing. So we probably will remove it and replace it with some smaller plants and mulch. Now onto the building structure. The roof is in perfectly good condition and we just have to replace the single pane windows, the dated front door and garage door. We're also going to repaint the exterior and get rid of the hideous green color. There are three different materials used on the exterior, the siding on top, the brakes and stucco. So I'm thinking about using three different paint colors. Welcome inside. This is the formal entryway. On your right side are the living room and the kitchen and straight ahead are stairs going to the second level and third level. And then we have the family room on this level and a bedroom. So in this, formal entryway, you find different finishes on the walls. We have bricks on this wall, some floral wallpaper on this side, and then the longest wall has wood paneling. All these different materials are not that trendy anymore, so we plan to replace them with sheetrock and repaint it so that this room will be more consistent. We also have a pretty interesting light fixture that looks very delicate and some tiled flooring on the ground that will also be replaced. Throughout the home, you will see a lot of furniture and other personal items that were left behind by the previous owner. So this is a service that I offer to the home sellers. They can take what they want and leave everything else behind, which makes their move hassle-free. Now we're in the family room. It's kind of dim in here right now because there's no lights in the ceiling. So we're going to change that by adding some can lights. The wood paneling all around is not helping either and we plan to remove them and refinish the walls. The window and slider are older and single pane. We're going to replace them as well. There's vinyl floors that will also be replaced because when we redo the flooring in the rest of the house, like the tiles in the entryway, um, we want to choose a type of floor that's consistent so that the whole house will feel more cohesive. This slider leads us to the backyard, which is really spacious. And I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Hidden in this corner of the family room, there's a fireplace that has a stone look that screams the 1960s. We have two options. We could either refinish it or we could completely take the fireplace out because in California, people don't really use fireplace that much. On top of the fireplace, we found this interesting fruit basket and a fake decorative fountain looking faucet. That's one of the interesting features that are in this home and I have many other things to show you throughout this video. This is the laundry room on the ground level. It's really awkward right now because it feels super tight with the closet of the bedroom right next to it protruding here. And it also has a doorway going into the only bathroom on this level. So we're going to have to reconfigure the layout here to make it more functional. And in this laundry room, we're going to remove the soffit on the top so we could put some 
taller cabinets on top of the laundry machines and then we're also going to replace the linoleum floors and repaint the walls the bathroom on this level is very awkward too we have the toilet right by the entry door and a small vanity that's not touching the wall on this side and also has a big gap between the toilet and on the other side there's a small shower here because the closet of the bedroom right next to this is also protruding and using some space in this bathroom so this entry door doesn't really open all the way so again we're going to have to reconfigure the layout a little bit here and also got everything um, and replace them with new finishes this is the only bedroom on this level and it's full of junk we're going to replace the ceiling light and clear out the junk of course repaint the walls to cover up all the marks on it and also replace this hideous colored carpet that's also filthy this closet was apparently used as a pantry before and we need to do some repairs and replace the closet door so that it can be functional again i think after we're done this can be a perfect home office from the family room up a couple steps we get to the casual dining room and the kitchen so here you find an antique looking intercom and i really like this light fixture that's made of iron and you see some detailed pictures on each side of the shade and on this wall here there's the second type of wallpaper in this home and also a little window with some decorative pillars that's offering a peekaboo view of the family room this is kind of odd and it's not very functional so we plan to actually close it off this is the kitchen and the cabinets are very old and filthy i really don't want to touch anything in here the green looking backsplash and countertops are not helping either we're going to gut everything and replace them with new cabinets, countertops, and appliances. And we also plan to extend the kitchen all the way through the casual dining area because casual dining is not very functional. And we have a formal dining room on this side. So um, that way we can make this kitchen a little bigger so that the size of it can fit the needs of a larger household uh, for this house much better. On this side of the kitchen, there is a big wall that's separating it from the living room. We plan to remove at least part of it so that we can improve the flow and make this whole living space more functional. So here we're going to probably put a new center island and this will become an entertainer stream. The dining room is of a very good size and there is a glass chandelier that's of a very similar style with other light fixtures in the home. Both the drips and the third type of wallpaper share a floral pattern. Even though this is not quite my style, I can appreciate how this home was built and decorated with very cohesive style and I imagine this was very popular back in the day. On the flooring, there's dark parquet floors that's really not very appealing nowadays. So we probably will replace it with a lighter color hardwood floor that's appealing to the target buyers that are um, young and hip that we're going after. 
So on this side, there is an old looking buffet table and a cabinet that are both showcasing a lot of different types of glassware. It makes you feel like you are inside of an antique store. So we're definitely going to try to salvage a lot of these and the things on the floors as well. So because we know that a lot of people are looking for um, old stuff like these. In between the dining room and the living room, there is a piano that was left behind and on top of it, there's an interesting mixture of stuff. We have some 3D printed animals and also some antique looking pot and plate and then there is that scary skeleton. If you're interested in flipping an older home like this, check out my coaching program, Transform Flipper Academy. I teach my students the ins and outs about house flipping and also help them achieve financial freedom through real estate investing. Don't look any further. Schedule a call with us today. This living room is huge. The furniture here match the rest of the decor and finishes in the home perfectly. I feel like I'm inside of a museum. There are a lot of big windows in this room, but it feels still very dark because there's no lights in the ceiling. And we plan to add a lot of can lights to solve that issue. And we're also going to remove the drips so that this room can be much more brighter and airy. On top of that, we're going to refinish the dark colored hardwood floors. Probably that will also brighten up the space. At the end of the room, there is this brick fireplace that again, we're either going to refinish or we would just remove it completely because people don't use fireplace that much anymore. This is the first bedroom on the third level. It's on the smaller side, especially because it's still full of furniture as if people are still living here. So the walls are painted this light pink color and there's also this hideous fan that we're going to replace. We're also going to probably replace this old parquet floors with a new modern planks. This picture is the highlight of the room and it provides a pretty interesting perspective. The second bedroom on the upper level is also full of goodies. We have uh, star showers here and we have some antique looking dresser, a vinyl record audio maker and some computer viruses. Yoda and Groot. It's a very interesting mixture of things. So our scope of work is to replace the light fixture, repaint the walls, replace the hardwood floors, and also replace all the interior doors. This third bedroom is mostly cleared out for a change, but we still have a very old PC and some dinosaur skeletons also a portable AC unit. In here, we're going to replace the light fixture, repaint the neon blue paint color and replace the hardwood floors. I think once we are done with the work, you are going to see a completely different room. The guest bathroom on this level is quite spacious. What I find interesting here is this medicine cabinet that comes with trifold mirrors that are adjustable and it's quite an interesting feature. And then there's also the scallop shaped sinks, but unfortunately everything's so old and dated in here and we can't really salvage anything. So we're going to gut it all and replace them with modern finishes. Now we're in the primary bedroom of this home and this room is pretty spacious. We have some interesting stuff. We have movie posters, a collection of perfume, and what I find the most interesting are these bifold closet doors that are half shutter and half mirror. I've never seen these before anywhere else. In here, again, we're going to replace the light fixture, repaint the walls, and replace the hardwood floors. 
The primary bathroom is like a mirror of the guest bathroom and having double vanity is really going to be a selling point. The shower is of a smaller size but there is a bulge here that we're thinking about removing so we could make this shower a little more spacious. For the Bay Area, this is considered a very spacious backyard. We have this small patio right off of the family room and I plan to add some more patio space on this upper level. We may also install an outdoor kitchen. And then on this lower level, we are probably going to replace the weeds with new sod and also add some more plants and potentially some planter boxes as well. You can tell that this is a large home and it's one of the bigger projects I've ever come across. It's also a little tricky that there are three different levels and you probably feel lost without a walkthrough. I like that there's a lot of space, which is not that common in the Bay Area. The split level design also provides separate living spaces and spread out bedrooms, which is appealing. But the current layout has some deficiencies that desperately need to be addressed. Our plan of renovation around the kitchen will considerably enhance the charm of the home and it will create a wow factor. I'm super excited for that. The rest of the interior renovation would be easy peasy, but then again, the backyard has to be completely revamped to highlight the best feature of the property. I can't wait to show you the final product and you'll be amazed. I'm sharing the projected numbers on this flip next. Don't miss it. I hope you've enjoyed this tour so far and let's talk about the numbers. I purchased this home for 2.6 million and we plan to put about three to 400,000 into this renovation. And the after repair value is estimated to be around 3.5 million. So there is some good margins in there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Oh, the windows are not really, <laughs> sorry. I was gonna say it's kind of We want to choose a flooring. <laughs> uh, let me just, this can be a perfect office, home office. Hey everyone, today we're going to, no. <laughs> sorry, this primary, is that too loud? and we're going to put about 200,000, sorry, that's not accurate. <laughs>